we're standing in front of these doors right now. Me neither. That's awesome. Yep. Next in the tank is a tool to ensure you get a juicy bird every time. <laughs> And I'm Kirk. And we're here from the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Canton, Ohio. We're here seeking $100,000 for a 10% stake in our company. Sharks, have you ever cooked a chicken that was so dry it was barely edible? Or served a turkey at Thanksgiving that was so parched your guests wanted to offer it a drink? Well, that's why we created the, the Turbo, Turbo Trusser. Trusser. The Turbo Trusser is a rapid trussing device used when cooking whole chickens and turkeys. Trussing is a technique that <sighs> trussing is a technique that keeps the wings, keeps the and, wings legs and legs to the body. close to the body <laughs> and cooks a bird more evenly good save traditionally this is done with butcher swine which is messy and hard to work with and this is for the birds <laughs> but with the turbo trusser <laughs> keeping your dinner nice and juicy is a breeze just hook the turbo trusser right in the place closing up the cavity and sealing all the juices to cook a perfect bird Check out these incredible results. Ooh. Sharks, you'll get a delicious, juicy chicken or turkey every time. And this product is so universal, you can use it in ovens, grills, smokers, roasters, rotisseries, deep fryers, and heck, even air fryers. And best of all, it's made of food grade stainless steel and it's dishwasher safe. And it's made right here in the good old USA. So. Which one of you sharks wants to take a bite out of the poultry industry and, and make, make a, a cluckload, cluckload of money? Of money? <laughs> uh, so each one of you sharks on your table, you have samples of our two versions. One's a chicken turbo trusser and one is made for turkeys. And then you also have some uh, chicken that was cooked with the turbo trusser today. Kevin, we'd love to have you come up. Go ahead and try it out. We've got love a to. chef hat. You know, I am chef yep. wonderful. That's you know right. That. And of it course, really we've good. got the apron. It is very good. <laughs> That's good. Okay, you would just pick the, the turbo trusser up yeah. and set it in the butt there. Okay, you set it in the butt. Set it in the butt and then okay. lift the butt one cavity. leg up. Yep. Oh, there we go. Lift one leg up and put it in. Lift it's the other just leg up. that easy. It's just that easy. Good. Then the other side, do the same. What is the chicken community saying about this torture device? Uh, they really like it. <laughs> we, we, we've sold uh, about 11,000 units and had one return. Oh, okay. oh, so. Wow. Very nice. People really love it. You don't have to get your hands all messy when you're using butcher's twine. How much of this delicious juiciness is because of this or the way you cooked it in that particular It's because oven? of the turbo trusser. That's what trussing does. It, it cooks it so you're cooking one piece of meat instead of five. So it's going to cook more evenly. I don't cook, so I'm learning so much. Does everybody do this? You know what? I think a lot of people do, but I think people are one afraid to do it with twine because it's it's intimidating oh you yeah don't know like how if to you do told it. me to tie up a dead chicken i'd be yeah. like you it gotta could... normally gotta go online watch a five or ten minute video so guys, so guys how did you get here you know how did you get yeah, in chicken suits story. on shark tank <laughs> on the carpet for the last 18 years i've been working in the pharmaceutical industry i've worked for three of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world but kirk and i we met about five or six years ago he was renovating my house kirk, yeah, kirk i was a contractor for <laughs> 20 years i went to culinary school back in the early 90s. I was a sous chef in a, in a couple uh, big banquet kitchens and country clubs, but I got burnt out, and that's how I got into contracting. As a contractor, I found a problem with uh, straight shutoff valves. I invented a wrench that has over 800 positions, and I have uh, two utility patents and I think five design patents on it, and I ended up licensing it. And then Brian's like, I want to start inventing too. This is really cool. And I'm like, okay, well, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, We're going to invent our right? way into chicken suits. Right? We've invented personally together six products, four in the barbecue industry, two in the pet industry, and then he's got a wrench. Before this product, did you make any money? Not a dime. Other... No. <laughs> no. Not a dime, no, but you know what? We kept, we kept inventing. Kept... Let's get back to this product for a second. How much does it cost? How much do you make it for? How many have you sold? So right now, it costs, well, on our last order, it was $3.07 to make. MSRP is $14.99. And how many have you sold in dollars? $90,000 in sales, so we've been in business for eight and a half months. 60% of our sales come from our website alone. 27% of our sales go through distributors. We have three distributors. We're in 75 stores now. Oh, you are? And how yep. is it selling? Is it selling through? Yep, selling through. All three of our distributors have reordered our Amazon. We have somebody that's selling on Amazon for us now. He's reordered three times. Uh, Brian, I love you guys. I love this thing. I know nothing about it. It's just not 
big enough for me. Don't chicken out. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Our margin's 82%. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Kurt, I love it. Not for me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thank Appreciate you, Brian. it. Brian, how would I make money on a deal like this? It seems like a little business, a little bit of sales. It doesn't seem like there's room for a third person by any means. Barbara, that's a great question. There's 87 million turkeys are consumed just between the three holidays of Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas. We're not online marketing experts, right? So we're looking for somebody that can help us with some marketing, get us some social media exposure. But guys, look, it's hard to connect your product to all those turkeys and chickens. I, I just don't see you being able to scale, which makes it really difficult as an investor. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you very much for your time. So it's not really investable for me. It's not big enough, and I really hate touching chicken. Um, so I just have to be <laughs> honest about that. <laughs> and for those reasons, I am out, but I think you'll do really well. We appreciate that Thank feedback. You. Brian, it's not a big enough business for an investor to make money. I'm out. Brian, you've got, you've got one turkey left. You know, guys, I look at this and I see the potential of it, but it's so much work. We don't want you guys to do the work for us. We're going to do the work. Yeah. Listen, we're here. We won't let you down. We just need I mean, you to make connections. imagine if Chef Wonderful took this under his wing. We would love to have yeah, you under the wing. Love that. But he ain't free. He's an expensive chef. I mean, I mean, wish you had a model already put out there where I just had to pour gasoline on it. Maybe they it was do. They have a product here. You can sell So I have to don my whites. I have to be Chef Wonderful. I have to sell a lot of these to make any money. Um, I mean, I... We're flexible on our equity. We're here to make a deal. Yep. Yes, I know that. God, this is a royalty <laughs> deal. I'm, I can't oh, believe you're not mentioning that. It's definitely a royalty deal. The question is how much. I mean, how... <laughs> to get <laughs> Chef Wonderful to back this, and he's greedy. The only way I would do this, I'll give you the 100000 I want 33%, but wait, there's more. I want a dollar royalty in perpetuity for everyone we sell. Wow. You greedy bastard. Whoa, whoa. Wow. We appreciate that offer. Would you do that deal for 20% in the no, $1 royalty? No. no. Kevin. I want to be the third chicken. I see this as being something I can really get to town on, but I've got to make it worth my while. I have to wet my beak. We know it. 25%? Look, let's let's be honest with each other. Your your other inventions were, well, dogs. We don't want that to happen here, and I don't let dogs on my watch, okay? I think I can make this make money for all of us. I want to be the third chicken. That's very reasonable, I think. Given the a dollar, work. when you wholesale this, guys, you're not going to have all that much left. Right, I, I know. Exactly. Unless you get the price really I, well, way down. Well, make them an offer. You have one offer. Does anybody else would like to come back in? May I remind you to something else? Bertello Pizza Oven, the largest selling direct-to-consumer pizza oven in America. C'est moi, Chef Wonderful. Could you do the 33% without the without the dollar a unit? Never royalty? gonna happen. Oh guys, this guy's a bottom fisher. Mm. Oh, no, you don't have to do it, guys. I know. Um 30%. No. Kevin. You can walk away, guys. This is a lot of work, Christine. And I'm the only shark willing to do it with you. So there's a price. I give you an offer, you have to make a decision. You got a deal. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You got a deal. Chicken dinner. Congrats, Kev. Good job, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank Do you. the Let's funky chicken, Kev. Thank you so much. Come on. I appreciate you. Great very much. Congrats, guys. Shark Tank is the things dreams are made of. We appreciate it. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We couldn't walk away from a deal with Chef Wonderful. There is no opportunity greater than to have a shark on your team. Royalty or not, we're, we're going to make, make a cluckload of money. Ah!